today on the ranch we are building a modified silage bunker for our corn silage. This is one of our small corn fields. We just have two small corn fields. This is a special kind of corn that is just for silage and, and we will have a, a crew that we hire come and chop this. So they will chop the whole plant using a special combine or a special piece of machinery. They'll use the leaves, the stalk, um, the, the husk, the actual cob, all the corn, all of that will go into the silage and it will be hauled um, up to this bunker that we're making. And we are making a modified silage bunker because we're always thinking about what we're gonna feed the cows in the winter. So we're getting ready for that. We're gonna use old round bales that we put up from last year to sort of modify a, a silage bunker that already existed um, to kind of retrofit it so that it works for our cattle. So I'm hauling the hay bales up to my husband and he's stacking them. Um, like I said, we're always thinking of feed for our cows for the following winter and for months in advance. So we planned this silage earlier this spring and um, it will be chopped here in just probably a week and then it will be ferment and retain its nutrition and it will be good feed for our cows this winter. So I'm going to show you how we're building this bunker. So my job in all this is to haul the hay bales to my husband. So as you can see, I'm using our Dew Easy truck. I'm hauling two round bales from last year. Better put it in drive. Putting two round bales from last year um, at a time I'm hauling to him. And the reason that we like or that we are using round bales from last year um, is because we want to be efficient and use the resources that we have available and improve our sustainability. So putting up round bales or putting up any kind of hay requires a lot of resources. It requires time. You know, you spend money to do it. We fertilize, um, water, I mean, all of these things go into, I had to roll the window up to preserve, preserve the air conditioning. Um, all of these resources, time, money, fertilizer, water, all these resources go, go into putting up hay. If we don't use all of the hay, we have leftover or something like that, and we don't use it, it just sits in the field and rots. And at that point, then all of that time and money and water and fertilizer and other resources, that's all wasted. And that doesn't help our sustainability footprint. So by using these hay ba these round bales to help us build this modified silage bunker, we are not having to invest in concrete or something like that, but we will be able to uh, use these round bales for this. And then since they will be near the cows already, we can use them for um, either extra feed when there's a blizzard, because you know in February, there's gonna be a blizzard in Kansas. So we can use them for extra feed when they really need more food um, to keep warm or we can roll them out um, in a blizzard uh, for the calves and the cows to lay down on. Or we can even use them as a, 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 um, a windbreak, stack them up if there's a blizzard coming or something to keep the wind off of them. So there's a lot of things you can do with extra hay um, other than just letting it sit. So we try to do the best we can to use the resources we have so that we are continuously improving and we make sure we are using all of our resources and all the things that go into raising beef so that we can improve our sustainability footprint and be a, a positive, um, you know, leave a positive impact on our environment. So as you can see, this is the actual full size bunker from over, you know, it's very wide. We don't have this much silage. We don't have that many cows that requires us to use this much silage. So effectively the bales that I'm bringing, my husband is using to make a wall that will cut the bunker in half. And then we will put silage you know on one half uh, of the bunker and that will make sure keeping it tight and the smaller space will keep it pr properly ensiled it will keep the moisture rate at the right level and then we'll use it as we go throughout the winter so this is just the beginning we just started this he's just stacked some bales and then as i bring them he will stack them and the wall will get closer and closer to me and at the end of it we will have this kind of modified silage bunker okay so this is the finished product you can see we've got all the hay stacked back here it's two bales high and two bales wide. And then later this week, the silage crew is gonna come and chop the silage and put it in here. And then we will cover it with a tarp and put tires on top of the tarp to keep the weather out and stuff like that and keep it sealed. And then this winter we'll start here at the front with a skid loader and just work our way back using it as we go. And this is how we're using the old hay um, to make a modified silage bunker. And these are obviously big concrete blocks. So it's just one way we're trying to 
use our resources as best we can. We're trying out a new feed this year. We've never done silage, so I'm excited to give it a try and we'll see how this kind of modified bunker works. It should be interesting.